Jeremiah 34 to 36. The word which came to Jeremiah from Yahweh. When Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, with all his army, all the kingdoms of the earth that were under his dominion, and all the peoples were fighting against Jerusalem and all its cities, saying, This is what Yahweh, the God of Israel, says. Go and speak to Zedekiah, king of Judah, and tell him, This is what Yahweh says. Behold, I will give this city into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he will burn it with fire. You will not escape out of his hand, but you will surely be taken and delivered into his hand. Your eyes will see the eyes of the king of Babylon, and he will speak with, your, with you mouth to mouth, and you will go to Babylon. Yet hear the word of Yahweh, O Zedekiah, king of Judah, Yahweh says concerning you. You will not die by the sword. You will die in Shalom, and with the burning, burnings of your father, the former kings who were before you, so they will make a burning for you. They will lament you, saying, Ah, oh, Master, for I have spoken the word, says Yahweh. Then Jeremiah the prophet spoke all these words to Zedekiah, king of Judah, in Jerusalem, when the king of Babylon's army was fighting against Jerusalem and against all the cities of Judah that were left, against Elishish and against Ezekah. For these alone remain the cities of Judah as fortified cities. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from Yahweh after King Zedekiah had made a covenant with all the people who were at Jer Jerusalem to proclaim liberty to them, that every man should set free his male servant and every male and every man his female servant, a Hebrew man and a Hebrew woman, that no one should keep a Jewish brother in bondage. All the princes and all the peoples obeyed who had entered into the covenant, that everyone should let his male servant and everyone his female servant go free, that no one should make bond servants in them any more. They obeyed and let them go, but afterward they, t they turned and caused the servants and the handmaids whom they had let go free to return and brought them into subjection for servants and for handmaids. Therefore, the word of Yahweh came to Jeremiah from Yahweh, saying, This is what Yahweh, the God of Israel, says. I made a covenant with your fathers in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, saying, At the end of seven years, every man of you shall release his brother, who is a Hebrew, who has been sold to you, and has served you six years, you shall let him go free from you. But your fathers do not listen to me. They did not incline their ear. You had now turned and had done which was right in my eyes, and every man proclaimed liberty to his neighbor. You had made a covenant before me in the house which is called by my name, but you turned and profaned my name. And every man caused his servant, and every man his in every man his handmaid, whom you had let go free at their pleasure, to return. And you brought them into subjection to be to you for servants and for handmaids. Therefore, this is what Yahweh says, You have not listened to me to proclaim liberty, every man to his brother and every man to his neighbor. Behold, I proclaim to you a liberty, says Yahweh, to the sword, to the pestilence, and to the famine. And I will make you to be tossed back and forth among all the kingdoms of the earth. And I will give the men who have transgressed my covenant, who have not performed the words of the covenant, which they made before me, when they cut the calf in two and passed between its parts, the princes of Judah, the princes of Jerusalem, the Enochs, the Kohenim, and all the people of the land, who passed between the parts of the calf, I will even give unto them the hand of their enemies, and the hand of those who seek their life. Their dead bodies will be food for the birds of the sky and the animals of the earth. And I will give Zedekiah, king of Judah, and all his princes into the hands of their enemies, into the hands of those who seek their life, into the hands of the king of Babylon's army, who has gone away from you. Behold, I will command, says Yahweh, and cause them to return to this city, and they will fight against it, take it, and burn it with fire. And I will make the cities of Judah a desolation without inhabitant. The word which came to Jeremiah from Yahweh in the days of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, saying, 
go to the house of Rechabites and speak to them, and bring them into the house of Yahweh, into one of the rooms, and give them wine to drink. Then I took Jezneh, the son of Jeremiah, the son of Habizina, <laughs> with his brothers, all his sons, and the whole house of Rechabites, and I brought them into the house of Yahweh, into the room of the sons of Hanan, the sons of Igdala, the man of God, which was by the room of the princes, which was above the room of Messiah, Messiah, the son of Shalom, the keeper of the threshold. Then I set before the sons of the house of Rechabites, bowls full of wine and cups, and I said to them, Drink wine. But they said, we will drink no wine, for Jonabed, the son of Rechab, our father, commanded us, saying, You shall drink no wine, neither you nor your sons, forever. You shall not build a house, sow seed, plant a vineyard, or have any. But all your days you shall dwell in tents, that you may live many days in the land which you live as nomads. We have obeyed the voice of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, our father, in all that he commanded us to drink no wine all of our days, we, our wives, our sons, or our daughters, and not to build houses for ourselves to dwell in, we have no vineyards, field, or seed. But we do have but we have lived in tents and have obeyed and done according to all that Jonadab, our father, commanded us. But when Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came up into the land, we said, Come, let us go to Jerusalem for for fear of the enemy of Kestem, and for fear of the army of the Sumerians, so they will dwell in Jerusalem. Then the word of Yahweh came to Jeremiah, saying, This is what Adonai Zvaot, the God of Israel, says, Go and tell the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, Will you not receive instruction to listen to my words, says Yahweh? The words of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, that he commanded his sons not to drink wine, are performed, and to this day they drink none, for they obey their father's commandments. But I have spoken to you, rising up early and speaking, and you have not listened to me. I have sent to all my servants and prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Everyone must re return now from his evil way, amend your doings, and do, no, and do not go after other gods to serve them. Then you will dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers, but you have not inclined your ear, nor listened to me. The sons of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, have performed the commandment of their father, which he commanded them. But this people has not listened to me. Therefore, this is what Adonai Svaot, the God of Israel, says, Behold, I will bring on Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem all the evil that I have pronounced against them, because I have spoken to them. But they have not heard, and I have called them, but they have not answered. Then Jeremiah said to the house of Rechabites, This is what Adonai Svaot, the God of Israel, says, Because you have obeyed the commandments of Jonadab your father, and kept all his precepts, and done according to all he commanded you, therefore this is what Adonai Svaot, the God of Israel, says, Jonadab, the son of Rechab, will not lack a man to stand before me forever. And it came to pass in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, and this word came to Jeremiah from Yahweh, saying, Take a scroll of a book and write in it all the words that I have spoken to you against Israel and against Judah and against all the nations. From the day I spoke to you, from the day of Josiah, even to this day, it may be the house of Judah will hear all the evil which I intend to do to them, that they may each return from his evil way, that I might forgive their iniquity and their sin. Then Jeremiah called Baruch, the son of Neriah, and Baruch wrote from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of Yahweh which he had spoken to him on a scroll of a book. And Jeremiah commanded Baruch, saying, I am restricted, I cannot go into the house of Yahweh, therefore you go. And read from the scroll which I have written from my mouth, the words of Yahweh, in the ears of the people in the house of Yahweh on the fast day. Also you shall read them in the ears of all Judah who came out of their cities. It may, it may be that they will present 
their supplication before Yahweh, and each return from his evil way. For Yahweh has pronounced great anger and wrath against this people. And Baruch, the son of Nirah, did according to all that Jeremiah the prophet commanded him, reading in the scroll the words of Yahweh in the house of Yahweh. And it came to pass in the fifth year of Jerochium, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, in the ninth month, and all the people in Jerusalem and all the people who came to the cities of Judah and Jerusalem proclaimed a fast before Yahweh. Then Baruch read the words of Jeremiah from the, from the book of the house of Yahweh in the room of Germeah, the son of Shaphan, the scribe, in the upper room, in the entry of the new gate of the house of Yahweh in the ears of all the people. When Micah, the son of Germeah, the son of Shaphan, had heard out of the book of the words of Yahweh, he went down to the king's house into the scribe's room, and behold, all the princes were sitting there, Elishima, the scribe, Deleah, the son of Shemeah, Ilnathan, the son of Akbar, Gemara, the son of Shaphan, Zedekiah, the son of Hananiah, and all the princes. Then Mekah declared to them all the words which he heard. Then Baruch read the book in the ears of the people. Therefore all the princes sent Jehuda, the son of Nathani, the son of Shelameh, the son of Cushi, to Baruch, saying, Take in your hand the scroll in which you have read in the ears of the people, and come. So Barak, the son of Nira, took the scroll in his hand and came to them. They said to him, Sit down now and read in all our hearing. So Barak read it in their hearing. And it came to pass, when they had heard all the words, they had turned in fear one toward another, and said to Barak, We will surely tell the king of all these words. And they asked Barak, telling and they asked Baruch, saying, Tell us now, how did you write all these words in, my, in his mouth? And Baruch answered, answered them, He dedicated all these words to me with his mouth, and I wrote them with ink in this book. Then the princess said to Baruch, Go, hide yourself, you and Jeremiah, and let no man know where you are. So they went into the king to the court, that they had laid up the scroll in the room of Elishima, the scribe, then they told all the words of the hearing of the king. So the king sent Jehudi to get the scroll, and he took it out of the room of Elishema the scribe. And Jehudi read it in the hearing of the king, and in the hearing of all the princes who, took, who stood before the king. Now the king was sitting in the winter house in the ninth month, and there was a fire in the brazier burning before him. And it came to pass when Jehudi had read three or four leaves, that the king cut it with a penknife and cast it into the fire that it was in the brazier, until all the scroll was consumed in the fire that was in the brazier. The king and his servants who heard all these words were not afraid and did not tear their garments. Moreover, Elnathan and Deliah and Gamira had made an intercession to the king that he would not burn the scroll, but he would not listen to them. The king commanded Jeremiel, the, the king's son, and Siriah, the son of Ezrael, and Shlemiah, the son of Abdeel, to arrest Baruch the scribe and Jeremiah the prophet. But Yahweh hid them. Then the word of Yahweh came to Jeremiah after the king had burned the scroll. And the words which Baruch wrote at the mouth of Jeremiah, saying, Take again another scroll and write it, write it all in the write it all the former words that were in the first scroll, when Jerochium, the king of Judah, had burned. Concerning Jehochium, king of Judah, you shall say, This is what Yahweh says. You have burned this scroll, saying, Why have you written therein, saying, The king of Babylon will certainly come and destroy this land, and will cease, and will cause to cease from their man and animal? Therefore, this is what Yahweh says concerning Jerochium, king of Judah. He will have no one to sit on the throne of David. His dead body will be cast out of the day to the heat. And at the night frost, I will punish him, his offspring, and his servants for their iniquity. I will bring on them, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and on the men of Judah, all the evil that have, I have pronounced against them, but they did not listen. Then took Jeremiah another scroll, 
and gave it to Barak the scribe, the son of Neriah, and wrote therein from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words which the book of Jerochium, king of Judah, had burned in the fire, and many similar words were added to them.